The two SnowRunner Yukon maps in Phase 2 have two garages between them. Here's how to unlock the one in Big Salmon Peak, including the best and easiest routes. The Yukon maps in Canada are a welcome addition to SnowRunner, especially for those of us who survived the Amandra Garage missions. In case you're worried, getting the garage in the second map of Phase 2, known as Big Salmon Peak, is considerably easier. I still have some hair left. You may, however, want a little help finding a quick route, and there's no shame in that. We don't judge here. That's a tribe called Cars. So here's a quick guide, and a map to help you get from flooded foothills to Big Salmon Peak, and unlock the garage there. To get the garage in Big Salmon Peak, one must first get to Big Salmon Peak. Makes sense. There are two entrances, one of which is locked behind a mission, so we shall focus on the other. To be fair, they're not too far apart, so the majority of the route is the same. You have two main options. The first is a longer path all the way to the southwest corner, then east. I think if carrying cargo or moving heavy stuff, such as trailers or trucks, you should venture this way. If this is your preferred option, bring four slots of cargo space. You can bring two metal beams for the necessary broken bridge repair in the south. However, if you want to save time and or a scouting, then you can take the less conventional pipe route. I personally prefer this one, but it does mean having a truck that can handle a spot of deep water. Once across the river, behind the construction site, aiming for the parts where you can see the pebbles at the bottom most easily, Hang a left between some trees and then cut through some more water. Now it's time for the pipe bit. The trick is to get the front wheels on the pipe as best you can using either a rock or some other obstacle to bounce you. Then get the winch going to pull you over. It can take a little time but there is a knack to it and you can really cut that journey time down. You can also keep going along with the pipe on the right until you reach a bank. Stay to the right and sneak through some trees before going right across a bridge. This way is easier and actually probably quicker unless you get good at the pebble trick. Head right between the gap and the pipes and continue until you get to the open man-made area surrounded by water. Cruise along here however you see fit. Slow and steady is best, that's what she said. Then prepare to cross a fast river. By fast I mean it will push your truck downstream and fight your engine. So go full steam ahead, then winch onto something as quickly as possible forget and things may not go to plan. Just like what happened here with my Khan 39 Marshall and zero upgrades. After this you need to cruise along some dirt roads to the southeast corner and then pass through into a big salmon peak. At this point you can complete the Fallen Stones task which clears the railway along the south of the map for faster progress. The road alternative is underwater and very slow, so it's worth doing, but it is safer and quicker to unlock the garage first, then return to the warehouse to acquire and deliver to consumables. To be honest, you've done most of the hard work if you got this far. Now it's a case of driving east and straight ahead, you will see the garage or garage. Go to the big yellow square, drive in and then move to the garage as you've done many times before. Now it's yours to jump too quickly from the map and all the other associated stuff. Now you can go back and do the aforementioned consumables, find big salmon peak upgrades or try out some missions, whatever floats your boat. Put that kettle on, you've earned a tea. There are things to do in the area near the other entrance, so it's worth unlocking. The mission is known as Rockfall in the Ravine. To do this, head out from the garage in a truck with a sideboard bed and maybe a crane in case things fall off. I went with the Azov 73210, but many will work. Then head southwest and work your way along the route shown on screen. Collect two wooden planks from the wood framing area along the way and deliver them to the entrance to flooded foothills. You also need one metal beam, which is a two slot item. So ideally four slots total because maths. The path is narrow and can get you stuck in mud. So use the low gears to avoid digging yourself a hole. It's also tippy, so keep an eye on your trailer, particularly the one with metal beams. 
This trail is pleasing to drive once up the steep slopes, the first of which can be particularly unforgiving. Once you get to the tunnel entrance, offload the three items and that's it. You can now head through here to flooded foothills, giving you easier access to some remote missions and the watchtower. And that's it for this big Salmon Peak Garage Unlock video. I hope you found it useful. Check out the links in the description for many more SnowRunner guides and gameplay videos. Questions in the comments will be answered. I shall see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.